Hey, Bolo Buddies, thanks for watching. Okay, I have a big money Bolo video for you guys. These are items that I sold for $35 or more. Um, if you want to see what I sold for $35 or less, you can head over to my bread and butter Bolo items um, videos. And I'm going to tell you where I got it, what I paid for it, and what I sold it for. And these are items that I pick up at thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales, YouTube auctions, Facebook, basically anywhere where I can source an item for the right price that I can flip it to make a profit. So um, let's get started. All right, the first item that I sold is this Cinderella game. And I picked this up at a thrift store and it was new in the box, but it's new old stock. And the little figures that were attached up had kind of fallen down, unfortunately. But you can see everything is still sealed. And um, I opened it up to show that the items were actually there. And very, very cool find. Um, this I paid $4 for. And I took a best offer of $45 for this. And the buyer was all in for $62.28. So definitely be on the lookout for this game. Um, I don't know if I could have got more if the figures would have still been attached or if that's about right for this. But uh, 45 bucks, pretty good flip. The next item I sold is this briar horse. Now this briar horse was missing the stand. That's why it looks so funny. Um, you can see it's supposed to be like rearing up. But it has a hole right there in the middle of its belly that the stand fits into. But I did not have the stand, unfortunately. So um, I was still able to get $35 for this horse. And the buyer paid the shipping. So the buyer was all in for $43.68. I got that at a garage sale for $1. The next item I sold is this Carol Carr Palm Beach Straw Hat. Shout out to Butterfly Hustles for teaching me about straw hats. Uh, this one sold for $49.99 on auction and the buyer paid the shipping. I picked this up at a garage sale for around $3. So super cute. The next item I sold is this elephant ring and it came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. 344 pounds of jewelry. I do have a series on that if you guys want to go check it out. But I ended up taking a best offer of $36 on this ring. I thought it was darling. I'm surprised it didn't sell quicker and I'm surprised it didn't sell for more. But um, super, super cute. And the buyer was all in for $40.95. This next one is awesome. Um, so these came out of a mystery box and I got to tell you, I kind of threw them to the side. They sat in like a plastic bag for months upon months. And then one day I pulled them out and I looked them up and I'm like, oh my goodness, this is like a bolo item. And I was super excited and I was like, okay, I could list them individually or I could list them all together. Now they all had damaged packaging, but I was able to get the figures in the right packaging because they had kind of shifted around some of them and um, they weren't staying in the package how they were supposed to. So I kind of fixed things up and taped things up, but the packaging was not in great shape. I went ahead and listed these as a lot and they sold for $90 and the buyer paid shipping. So they were all, the buyer was all in for $98.55 on these. Again, they came out of a thrift store mystery box. And I think that um, that was an international sale, if I remember correctly. The next item came from that estate sale that I went to that had all of the McDonald's items. This one um, is a McDonald's shirt and it's a size 3T. It is a rare, hard to find T. So I went ahead and priced it high at $60. They offered me $50. So I went ahead and took that and the buyer paid shipping. So if you ever see any McDonald's kids vintage shirts, definitely grab them. The next item is this J. Crew vintage inspired art deco statement necklace that I picked up in the bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. Uh, J. Crew is usually tagged like this with a little uh, tag that says J. Crew. And I sold this for $41.24 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Helen Kaminsky cap. And this is another Bolo brand that I learned from Butterfly Hustles. 
and I sold this hat for $70 on best offer. Uh, I only had about three bucks in it, two or three dollars. So I was like, you know what? Somebody's offering me 70. I probably could have held out for 80 or 90, but I went ahead and took the $70. Uh, the buyer was all in for $81.83 with tax and shipping. The next item came out of a mystery box and it's a, a little paper mache like tabletop decor. It's a, a black cat lantern, super cute. Ended up selling this for $37.49 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item, and that was a uh, vintage Halloween box at the thrift store. The next item is vintage, the Bible story. Uh, the, they're max books. And I did not have the complete set. I was missing six and spin. And I don't know how many volumes it actually has. But I just sold it in complete. And I took a best offer of $35. The buyer was all in for $46.85. I paid 25 cents each for those, so I had $2 in that lot. The next item I sold is this vintage Bijan women's uh, EDT, we'll just say that, spray. Made in the USA, partially used, um, so I do have it under listed under other perfume collectibles. Um, to list it under perfume, it has to be new, brand new. So if you list it under collectibles, somebody could be buying it just for the bottle. Um, I do not, I down in the description, I put disclosure, older perfumes, powders, and men's fragrances may lose some scent due to age. Um, you can kind of tweak that to word it however you want. And um, that's what I do. So it is being sold under collectibles because it is a vintage item and I cannot guarantee that the scent is what it was when um, it was new. I took a best offer of $56.25 and the buyer paid the shipping. The next item that sold is this Purina Chow Trucker Hat and it is a K products, which is a plus. I picked this up at a thrift store for $1 and I sold it for a best offer of 50 and the buyer paid shipping. The next item is this Pottery Barn Kids Etched Mirror Tray. This also came out of a mystery box. This one was um, very, very interesting. I think it was in with like the Christmas and the Halloween items. Um, so kind of random put in a weird mystery box, but hey, you know what? I decided to go ahead and try and list it and it sold. It sold for a best offer of 50. Buyer was all in for 74.13. And again, that came out of a thrift store mystery box. The next item is this Saworski Swan Rose Sign brooch. Super cool. Was really happy when I heard the chin ching on this one. That is the brand right here, the little swan. That's how you know it's Saworski. And I'm probably saying that wrong, but um, really, really cool item. Now, um, in I have been using Photo Room, but I also have a video that shows you how to use the eBay filter that's right on your eBay, like in your eBay listing to get a white background like this. So you don't have to go to another website and or another app and actually download anything and take your picture over there to get the white background and then put it back on eBay. This is built into eBay. If you're already using a white background, but it's not like pure white. Um, I You can use that filter to get this background. And I have a video that shows you how to do that. Um, okay, so this pen sold for a best, or nope, I'm sorry, it sold for $55.50 and the buyer paid tax and shipping. And that came from my bulk buy. I bought it on eBay to sell on eBay. The next item is this rare first edition Amtrak wood train and this sold on auction for $59.99 and the buyer paid shipping. This also came out of a toy mystery box from a thrift store. And that was a lucky find. Um, I'm glad I looked it up because sometimes I just lock trains up and it really doesn't look like anything special. It's got um, the wear, uh, the paints coming off. But uh, I guess because it's a first edition, Whittle Company, I believe is the brand. Never heard of it. And... Glad I looked it up because definitely a bolo item. The next item is this sound float. I picked this up at a garage sale for 
Uh, I went ahead and took a best offer of 75. I just wanted to move it quickly. It's big and it's bulky and I wanted it out of my house. So 10 into 75, I'll take those margins. The buyer was all in for $117.17 on that item. The next item was a shocker. Um, it's a vintage toy tin whistle made in Japan. And somebody sent me some offer, an offer and they're like, whatever the offer was. And they're like, um, if this offer is not higher enough, please counter. So I kind of had a feeling that I had something special. I countered at $50 and they took it. So some of these vintage whist whistles can go for big money. I was happy with 50. I have about 50 cents in it. I got it at a garage sale. Could I have gotten more? I really honestly don't know. I could not find any comparables on it. So do you guys think I did good at 50 or do you think I could have sold it for more than 50? Let me know what you think in the comments. It is uh, made in Japan and it's just a little tiny vintage whistle. So I took, I started it on auction, but somebody made me an offer. So I went ahead and took the $50. Um, and the buyer paid the shipping. And the last item I sold is this Berkham Bunny milk, orange milk slag glass thumper rabbit, rare and hard to find, sold it for $92.49. The buyer did pay the shipping on that. They were all in for $108.94. So those Berkham Bunnies have been amazing. If you don't know the story about the Berkham Bunnies, you can go to the thrift battle where I battled it out against Donatella Bottolino on um, Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. So uh, that was the first thrift battle I was in. And then I was just in one more recently. Um, and you'll have to go see if I won. Did I win those thrift battles? So I'm in two thrift battles on Primetime Treasure Hunters channel. So go check him out. Look up those thrift battles and you can see my bolo items that I brought. Um, I will give you a hint that both times, five rounds. So you'll get to see five items in each video of mine and five items of the person that I went up against. So definitely go check out those videos. And as always, thanks for watching.